Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech, my name is Amata, today is the 1st of May and I have of course some more gaming news for you today, this time regarding Destiny, as Bungie has revealed that they are going to be locking out the PvP mode at the start of the campaign, but according to them it can be unlocked in a couple of hours maximum. Now, this was discussed during an interview with Eurogamer, with Tyson Green uh, from Bungie participating, and he confirmed that once players unlock PvP with one character, it will be available for every character thereafter. Now, when he was naturally asked why PvP was locked out at the start, he said, quote, we found early on that people here in the studio, when they jumped on the game, these, these were people who were already really familiar with the game's mechanics. They would roll a new character, play through the first mission, then go right into PvP, and they'll just get really beaten up by the other players because they didn't have a super ability yet, and they didn't. They'd only got an auto rifle from the first mission, and they said this is really awful. This is a terrible experience. And we said, you're right. We have to make sure that really that doesn't really happen. So when your first character unlocks PvP, you're a little bit further into the game. You've probably done one or two of the campaign missions, probably unlocked a special weapon with, and your super ability. And then once that's happened, we unlock it for all the characters in your account. Once you know how the game works, if you want to take 100 into PvP at level 3, we're okay with that. You know what the game is at that point, so that's your decision to make. And then he finished up by saying that he's sure that players will agree that taking time to improve your character's weapons and abilities before going into the PvP mode is the right decision. So rather interesting, there's a couple of um, interesting tidbits there, you know, as well as of course the core fact of the PvP being unavailable for the first couple of hours. And the main thing that I want to touch on is the fact that the PvP is intrinsically linked to the campaign. It's not a separate mode, we have a separate character. It is linked to your campaign progression. So, as I said, if you've only got the auto rifle from the first mission of Destiny, then that's all you'll have in PvP. And if you haven't unlocked your super, then you will not have your super in PvP. It's rather interesting. So, it actually encourages you to um, play more of the campaign, unlock more stuff and get better at the game before jumping into the PvP. I think this is a decent way to do it. I think most people would probably want to get pretty at least decent at the game before going against other players, at least I would personally. Um, you know, after not playing StarCraft 2 for months, from my perspective, I won't just jump straight back into a ladder game or probably play a few games against the AI or against friends just to kind of get back into the swing of it and then I'll go back onto the ladder. So personally, I don't think this is too unreasonable and if it only takes a couple of hours to unlock, I think this is pretty much fine and I think this is better to basically encourage you to actually um, better your play, better your characters before jumping into PvP from Bungie. Now some people might be slightly annoyed but I think most people would want to enjoy the campaign a little bit before trying out the PvP anyway. But of course if you disagree with what, 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 with what they've said, excuse me, or, with, or what I've said, please do give us your thoughts and opinions in the comments below, that's what they're there for. We always like to hear some opinions from you guys. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.